This stroke is called the opening stroke or the teapot stroke. The reason I kind of like to call it a teapot stroke is that the hand sort of does this, like a teapot spout. But, but remember to keep the fulcrum solid. The hard part about the stroke is keeping the fulcrum solid. Now what's happening there? The wrist is going down and it's dropping the stick. And the bounce of the stick is gonna open my hand. Notice how I'm resetting after each stroke. I'm just resetting and I'm practicing this. And it's the bounce of the stick that's taking the stick up, not my wrist. My wrist stays down, down, down. And why is that important? Well, it's the start of a double stroke motion. So if I do that stroke and I finish in this position, I'm now in a good position to close my fingers. And the stick comes down like that. And look at this, I'm in exactly the same position that I end up with if I do a dead stroke. The reason we focus on the teapot stroke or the, bounce, the opening stroke is because that's the hardest part. Closing your fingers, easy. If you're in this position and you just close your fingers, that's not hard, that's fine. The hardest part is that first stroke. So don't be tempted to practice the snap or the closing too soon. Practice the opening stroke on its own and get it bouncing perfectly every time. Just like that. Again, all of the elements of the grip staying the same. Except sometimes when you get a big bounce, the stick might leave your fingers like that. But that doesn't happen when you play it because this, when at a faster speed, this will look more like this. So you're working up to that, but trust me when I say that if you just do this and get really comfortable doing that every time, get that feeling of the stick bouncing back, you'll have no problem building speed. Have fun.